What's up guys, Olaf here. In today's video, we're going to be preparing our Pendra King from the Pendrella event of Polyhydra or ZK Bridge. Technically, it's not available now either, but we can already prepare our pandas and we already know the rules. And how it works, you need to collect a certain amount of pandas on different types, on different chains, in order to be able to mean the Pandra King of a certain rarity. As you can see, it starts from 10. If you have 10, you can mint uncommon. From 15, you can mint rare. 20 plus, you can mint epic. And in order to mint legendary, you need 25 or more. Currently, there are 28. Although I've seen a picture uh, with additional four Pandras, I believe, on linear. So potentially, Soon we'll have uh, linear pandras added, but currently again 28 uh, pandras available and we need to mint 25 plus. Well, technically mint and bridge. In terms of requirements, we're gonna need tokens on the mainnet on Polygon, BNB, Core and Celo. So on these four chains, you must have tokens for minting and also to cover bridging fees. I don't know how much exactly we're going to pay. I guess we'll see after we are done with this task. And also you're going to need testnet tokens on OP BNB and on combo network. In both cases, you can bridge from the BNB testnet to those uh, networks. You can use native bridges. Like this is the bridge for OP BNB. This one is for combo. However, now it's also possible to bridge tokens here on ZK Bridge from the BNB testnet to OP BNB or to Combo. We'll need these tokens in order to claim uh, the NFTs when we're going to be bridging towards OP BNB and Combo networks. In other cases, when you bridge into other chains, you effectively paying a bridging fee on the sender chain. So as you can see, there are a lot of requirements. So naturally, you may ask why we're we doing that event at all well first of all we're obviously farming for the potential error drop of polyhydra which in my opinion is very probable worth mentioning also that there is a prize pool for this campaign specifically of 120,000 usd even though it may sound like a lot there are tons of people who participate in, in this campaign and also we don't know how that's going to be distributed. Okay, hopefully everything works properly and we can do everything in one sitting. As you can see, I have currently five types uh, of Pandras. Some of these are already breached, so we can skip those, but it's really not much. Also, one point I'd like to touch on is how you can tell those apart. It's actually pretty easy because we have like four types of their appearance. I guess you can say of their cloth. Like for example, uh, panda. I'm just gonna call them pandas instead of pandras because like pandras is a weird word. Panda from BNB has this like pimpish look, I guess you can say. Then panda from Polygon smoking something has headphones. Then Panda from Cordao has this padded jacket and Panda from Cello has this farmer outfit. Also on this page, uh, they go in the order of seven pandas from BNB, then seven pandas from Polygon, then Cordao and then Cello. So that's the type of the panda and the chain you can tell apart by the logo on their chest. So we have BNB, Polygon, this is Core, then Cello, Combo. This is OP BNB. This is, this is very similar to BNB. However, it, it is smaller. And if you look really closely under the logo, it says OP BNB. And then Mantle. So these are currently seven chains that are available. Okay, so now let's start doing on-chain tasks. What we need to do first, I suggest to just mint out all of the pandas. So we have six possible mints. 
on four chains. So just go ahead and mint them all. First, I think it's just easier to do it this way. Unfortunately, you cannot uh, bulk mint. You have to do one by one. And actually, I would suggest to keep this page open. Also on these pandas, you can see the amount of this type of panda in your wallet. So that also helps us. When you're minting on BNB, obviously don't forget to change the gas. Okay, I've minted out on BNB chain. Also, if I just switch to this tab, as you can see, it doesn't refresh automatically. You need to refresh the page. And then you're gonna see the amount after it loads. Okay, now I'm gonna start minting on Polygon. So here, mints by themselves, they're very cheap. The majority of tokens you're gonna pay for bridging fees. Okay, Polygon also minted out. Now let's go to Cordo. Actually, let's check how much core do I have. Okay, now it's Cello. Okay, we got it. So we're done with the minting. Let's refresh this page and see. Okay, so I currently have five BNBs, four polygons because I already breached two of the polygons. Then five core DAOs and six cellos. I haven't bridged from cello. So let's start bridging from BNBs. And one panda should stay here on BNB. As you can see, we got five possible bridging uh, directions. However, we only need four, but we also missing one panda for the 25 because we got six multiplied by four, you get in 24. So for the last NFT, you need to either buy that on the marketplace or use the second account for minting and then transfer it. So I'm just gonna bridge all five pandas on the different chains here. We're gonna compare the fees between the different destination chains. And then at the end, we're just gonna buy this Panda from the marketplace. Okay, we're going to ZKNFT. First, let's bridge to OPBNB. Okay, now we need to claim on OPBNB. Great, says transfer is completed. Let's check that in our collection. Cool, that's here. Now let's start four bridges into different mainnets to compare the fees. Okay, first one is Polygon. This is one USD and four cents in total. Super fast bridge. Okay, for next one, let's do Mantle. Yeah, Mantle. Oh, wait. Well, roughly the same, slightly more expensive. Bridge is also fast. 
This one is actually going VLA zero. Okay, so we have core DAO and cello left. Let's go core DAO. Core DAO is cheaper, significantly cheaper. So Polygon was one, 104, Mantle was 111, Core DAO is 66 cents. Okay, great. And now sell left. Also 66 cents. So core DAO and sell are the cheapest. Okay, now, okay, let's check. Well, good, this panda is in transfer, should arrive soon. As you can see currently, we are out of BNB pandas and we cannot mint anymore, so we'll have to buy that one. For Polygon Panda and other chains, we're obviously gonna keep one of the pandas on the native chain. Bridging to BNB probably gonna be the most expensive in this case. So I'm just gonna bridge to Celo and Core DAO and obviously OP BNB. And we're gonna be done with the Polygon transfers. Okay, let's do Polygon. Also, when you're selecting NFTs, be very careful. As you can see, this is the panda that we breached uh, from the BNB. This is not the native panda. We need to breach the native pandas. So again, identify them by their looks. Or you can use contract address alternatively. Yeah, bridges from Polygon are definitely the longest. 128 confirmations. Like really taking several minutes. All right, we got that on our PBNB. And now I need to do Polygon to Core DAO and Polygon to Cell. And then one panda is gonna stay on Polygon. Wow, this is even cheaper than transferring from BNB, 48 cents from Polygon to Core. Okay, let's try to refresh. Yeah, so these two, they're still in transfer. We keep in the Polygon on Polygon, then Combo, then OP BNB and Mantle. I already had. Now we can move on to core DAO transfers. For core DAO I transferred one only on combo. I actually wonder what's going to be more expensive, bridging that to Mantle or to BNB. I'll just do BNB. Okay, so we bridging everywhere except for Mantle. Gonna start with OP BNB. Oh wait, you cannot do mantle here and you cannot do cello. So we're gonna miss one bridge. Okay, let's do what we can and then we'll figure out later. Gonna do OB BNB first. So I assume from cello we won't be able to bridge here on Cordell. Okay, and now to main net. We'll see how BNB fares against Polygon in this regard. Where what? 152 core?
Yeah, transferring to BNB is a lot more expensive than Polygon. We are done with direct transfers from Cordell, where we still have one spare panda that we're gonna use. These two haven't arrived still from Polygon, and these two as well, the last two. Okay, let's uh, do the cello. Let's actually check if we can do cello to Cordell. Probably not. Which sucks because it's very cheap. What do you mean no NFTs? Okay, I'll disconnect the wallet, reconnect again. Nope, no NFTs. I can't even see it in my NFTs. Yeah, it's not detecting them for some reason. But I minted them and I can also see them here. Maybe I should change the RPC. What if I put contract address and then token ID? Like I have it in my transaction, right? Let's go from the first one. I actually wonder if that's gonna work. So we have the contract address of the NFT and then I got token ID. So I can just copy token ID. I already copied contract address. Yeah, you gotta be kidding me, now you're detecting. Why weren't you detecting before? Come on. Sure, no NFCs. Okay, I'll just have to do it manually apparently. Just copy this one. I just need to not mix up transactions. Okay, let's start with OPBNB. No, let's actually start with a combo. Combo then OPBNB and then we'll do main nets. Oh, I didn't check. I didn't check the core DAO. Okay, I'll check next. And I want to sleep so bad, but I also want to finish this. Okay, this is combo. Let's actually refresh. I wonder if two of these pandas finally arrived. Yeah, finally we got them. Let's keep going. Just a little bit left. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, second mint. Where was the contract address? DA6. I'm just autopiloting at this point. Okay, DA6 is the contract address. And this would be the ID. Okay. Yeah, so core DAO also not available here. So same thing pretty much. There's gonna be one panda left, but we'll figure out the route after we're done bridging. Okay, now mainnet, let's do BNB and then Polygon. I will need to find the IDs again. Okay, let's do third mint. Let 
this one goes to B and B. At least main nets are fast. Oof. Yeah, BNB is by far the the most expensive one. Cool, and the last one on Polygon. Close all of these. One, two, three, four. Okay, Polygon. Okay, great. Let's check our collection. All right. Couple transfers are in progress. So we just need to figure out what would be the most effective way to get this panda from Cordao to Cello and then from Cello to Cordao. So the question really is, can you move from test nets to these chains? If we do combo, for example, nope. So test nets only between each other. Then unfortunately we don't have much choice. Like if we select core DAO. Okay, Melody Maven. So we need to bridge that through Polygon. Because for main nets, there's only Polygon and BNB, and BNB is way more expensive than Polygon. So we'll need to move this to Polygon and then move from Polygon to Cell. And same in the opposite direction. Cello Panda to Polygon and Polygon to Cordao. And then we'll only need to get the initial panda on the BNB. Okay, while it's finalizing, let's move Cello Panda to Polygon 2. Again, we will need to do that manually. So, one, two, three, four, fifth. I'll take this one. Okay, Polygon, next, approve. And now we need to move Cordao Panda from Polygon. Where's Cordao? This is Cordao. Okay, this arrived. And this goes to Cello. And now the same in the opposite direction. So Polygon, uh, Panda from Cell, we only have one, apparently the second one hasn't arrived yet, but we can bridge this one, doesn't matter. Okay, this is Panda from Cell, we need to move it to Cordao.
Okay, I'll wait a couple minutes and then refresh collection to see if everything is in place apart from the BNB. Yeah, last two transfers hasn't arrived yet. Laser transactions going kind of slow, but let's go ahead and get ourselves this panda. I checked OpenSea, I checked Tofu. On both you can buy, for some reason for me on OpenSea it's not properly loading. However, in the activity tab, I can actually see people trading uh, on Tofu. For me, that loads properly, so I'll just go ahead and buy this one. So alternatively, what you can do, uh, you, can, you can switch to another account mint this panda and then transfer this panda from that account to your main account. But honestly, with these prices, it's just easier to buy because you need to move some BNB to the second account. If you don't have it there, then mint it there, then transfer, like you may save a couple cents, but. Okay, this one detectable right away. Yeah, let's just wait a couple more minutes. That should be finalizing soon. I wonder how much tokens in total I spent. I almost spent all my cello. I bought 10 on Binance, I think. Yeah, I bought 10 cello. So I spent like 8. So that's roughly 4 bucks. Yeah, so it's like roughly 4 bucks per chain. On the flip side, additionally to Polyhydra, you're doing a lot of transactions via LA0, but at this point, to be honest, I don't care too much about LA0, because I'm just doing transactions for LA0 from time to time. I think there is a very good chance that the snapshot has been taken already. But again, I could be wrong. So potentially if you want to maximize like LA0 effect, I would spread up transactions maybe for at least several days. This way you increase in the metric of active days on layer zero, for example. But this is such a minor thing now at this point. Man, these two pandas do not want to come home. Still haven't arrived. Okay, three more minutes. Let's refresh. Oh, come on. Okay, these two, right? Polygon Cello and Polygon Cordao. Pending and pending. Well, they will arrive eventually. I'm not gonna wait any longer, I'm just gonna hit the bed. And when Pandra King task actually launched, we'll be fully ready to claim our legendary NFT. Also, don't forget to claim all the tasks on Galaxy related to pandas. Thank you for watching, be sure to like and subscribe. As always, leave your questions and comments down below. And until next time.